Several gardens featured a beautiful muted planting palette and each one incorporated a colour twist. The exquisitely detailed Myeloma UK A Life Worth Living Garden, designed by Chris Beardshaw, is described by the multiple gold medal winning creator himself as a muted palette choice. Set against a very verdant backdrop of lush green foliage, incorporating ferns and hostas, the predominantly cool toned planting palette includes aquilegias, geraniums, foxgloves, peonies, salvia, Siberian iris and tiarella. The floral themed stencil effect on the temple walls softens the architecture with allusions to fabric designs or a wallpaper print. Hard landscaping is softened with mounds of Irish moss. The garden showcases distinct pools of colour rather than intermingled drifts and this was a really effective planting idea to take away, showing how a muted palette allows each type of plant to be showcased separately while still maintaining overall cohesion. The twist came with the unexpected discovery of bright magenta in the scheme, giving amplified passion to the design without detracting from the overall softly enveloping and soothing vibe. This garden marks the 25th anniversary of Myeloma UK, a vital charity assisting people with incurable blood cancer, designed to offer a transformative space in which to find a sense of calm, reflection, hope and resilience. The supremely elegant Nurture Landscapes Garden by Sarah Price was a muted design, offering an incredibly pretty painterly scene of dusky pinks, apricots and mauves, centred around stunning bent and bearded irises, interplanted with pastels such as ivory petaled poppies, pink flomis and the bee magnet candelabras of honey garlic, enhanced by the earthy tones of gravel, walls and containers crafted from air-dried sand. Warm watercolour washers in pink and terracotta tones enhance the lushness of green and silver foliage, including fennel, euphorbia angelica and eleagnus quicksilver. And the twist came with the deepest, darkest burgundy of Aeonium, which played up to the concept of light and shadow, and balanced the darker tones of the Scots pine trees, which were pruned to resemble stone pines. Reclaimed timber and locally sourced sustainable materials were recycled into stylish features in the garden, emphasising texture and form. And another design tip to take away was to practice restraint and embrace openness and space around beds and borders, allowing the garden to be wandered through and viewed with a leisurely sense of freedom to appreciate every aspect of planting form and petal colour. This landscape was inspired by the irises and 16th century home of artist and plantsman Cedric Morris. In the Great Pavilion, the Choose Love Garden by Jane Porter presented another charmingly subtle and soothing design with a soft, earthy, muted palette provided by planting choices and the warm toned gravel mulch and irregular textured walls. This garden was inspired by the building materials and landscapes encountered by refugees seeking a new home journeying across migration routes in Europe. The sculptural dry stream bed embodies the duality of movement and permanence in the refugee's life. Drifts of peach, terracotta and dusky mauve include flowers and herbs from the Middle East, Afghanistan and the Mediterranean. The twist comes with bright fuchsia roses, Rosa gallica officinalis, growing either side of a wind-blown iron tree. 
This has the effect of drawing the eye out along the far boundary and is a way to make small spaces seem larger than they really are, an idea that could be used in our own gardens. We also love the dreamy pinky peach for Bascom Helen Johnson, which is a long flowering period from early to late summer. Wool carder bees collect hairs from the stems and leaves of this plant for their nests, and this homemaking association is very apt given the theme of migrating peoples in search of safety and security and a new home. Gentle, soothing smudges of blue come from the narrow-leaved salvia, and iris-deep black adds further depth to the scheme. 